Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button. And do subscribe to the channel. Personal reading links, uh, Twin Flame Timeless reading links, and also links Virgo with a specific zodiac sign are all in the description box below as well. All right, you guys, so let's get into this. Okay. Yeah, the runner is going to be running to you, Virgo. The runner is running back. <laughs> okay. The runner, seduction, someone likes you, romance, blooming, flirting, wanting to date, attraction, flirting, dating. Yes. Okay. Let's take a look. So right off the bat, when I was shuffling earlier and then starting this, I received a message that the month of August between the 17th and the 20th are going to be mind blowing. There's something going on um, on the, the, the third into the fourth week of August. Now there's pretty much five weeks of August. So August is going to be a really long month. Um, but there's something going on beginning also. Virgo season okay that will be mind-blowing and I feel like it has to do with your love life um, yeah some of you I'm also hearing might be out maybe you're at a gym or you are taking a walk through a park somebody runs by you like you know like a fitness runner kind of a person and I don't know there's like a Cupid's arrows moment happens <laughs> right um i don't know some of y'all doing that hop to a ready to the guy. i shouldn't even talk just click off it's fine just click off. i totally understand and i wouldn't blame you if you want to click off this reading and you're like yeah this girl is out of her mind okay so let's get into this reading okay you've got a queen of cups showing up here cancer scorpio pisces energy Ooh, they have a star energy about them. They're glowing. Um, this person is coming across to me. They could be a public figure. Um, but this person is feeling a sense of renewed hope. Feeling um, like something is very special. And sitting on top of the runner running towards you, I feel like this person... Um, wants like their their emotional wish feels like what happened to the sun where did the sun go hold on the sun just like disappeared so their emotional wish is to have some kind of a renewal to renew a relationship with you here look the sun very hopeful this person is feeling very positive positive about what positive that they can seduce you <laughs> or you know they're they're yeah okay positive that they can seduce you or can pull you back in okay pull you in okay leo energy there aquarius energy okay there's the ten of cups listen somebody th whoever this person is they're bringing this happily ever after thing with them you and them Happily ever after, Ten of Cups, marriage, family, children, happiness, joy, contentment, that kind of energy. Okay. Let me see. Oh my gosh. I mean, seriously. Yeah. This, whoever this person is, you might not even know them. Okay, like I said, this could be somebody completely new. You know, like I said, you're out there, you're walking your dog, maybe some of you are walking your cat, you're walking through the park, whatever you're doing, and you connect with this person, and they're just totally into you. Now, this could be somebody that you know as well, so we're just going to leave that kind of out in the open, let you figure this out, but sometime around the end of August, like the 17th through the 20th, there's definitely going to be some communication coming in. Could be an, an air sign. But there's communication coming in. Total honesty. Being very direct. This person is going to come in and tell you that they, they really like you. They want to date you. Or take it, you know, progress it to the next level. Okay. So, I mean, good news for singles 
who are <clears throat> looking to meet somebody new and for those of you who are in that phase of wishing and hoping your person would get their head out of their ass and open up to you and keep it real um I'm hearing this person say, I'm surrendering. I'm, I'm surrendering. <clears throat> 10 swords plus one is 11. I'm surrendering. I'm, I'm not fighting you anymore, I'm hearing. I'm not gonna fight. I'm not gonna fight with you. I'll f I wanna fight for us, but I'm not gonna fight again. I'm not gonna fight against you in regards to something here, okay? Um, for those of you where this is somebody new, there's also an energy of um, they're looking for new love. They've been stabbed in the back. And they want to have a potential new love start in their life. And, you know, they're interested in you. Or, you know, they just want to go out on a date with you. Okay, so either way. It's a new beginning, either way. It's either a recommitment to a former love or it's a new love situation. It could be both. It could be both. Listen. August 20th, 17th through the 20th, like I said, it's going to be mind-blowing. And for some of you, this is an energy of you've got somebody new showing up, but, but then you have somebody else from before showing up, someone that run, ran away that's a runner. Okay. So here's you, Virgo, King of Pentacles. Let's take a look at you. What's your energy? <laughs> of course you're in hermit mode. Yeah, of course you are. And you're blocking and you're deflecting and you're staying. Like you are, <laughs> you're like under a rock. I see you being under a rock. And that's just a figure of speech. You are um, definitely in August protecting yourself, trying to keep your wishes and hopes alive and your desires. And you're not letting anybody know. I don't know, you're chasing some kind of contentment in your life in August, trying to be happy. You're giving very little to others, okay? And you may be like this with whomever this person is showing up, breadcrumbing a little bit. I just feel like you're not, I feel like you're not committing to um, giving anyone in particular all of you. I feel like you're going to share a little bit of yourself, a little bit of your amazingness, they're saying, a little bit of like your greatness, your amazingness, your goodies, but you're not giving it all. You're, you're kind of, uh, you're being a little selfish, which I, I don't think is necessarily a bad thing to some degree. I mean, you're protecting yourself for some reason, but you're, you're becoming a breadcrumber pretty much. You know, I feel like you're in this you're in this position here where if you gave before or you were just like that in your past relationships, you gave, 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 gave. Now you're being selfish and you're just giving here. You get a little and you get a little and you get a little and y'all can just, you better savor it because that's all you're getting from me. You're getting a little here and you're going to get a little there and that's going to be it. Oh, you want more? You're going to have to wait. <laughs> you should have, you should have sucked on that a little longer. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Yeah, you got some stuff you're dealing with, Virgo. <clears throat> some mental stress, you know. Um, maybe you feel a little victimized. Maybe you're trying to get out of that. Or you're just kind of feeling like, oh, trapped. But you're not really trapped. Some of you are just purposely licking your wounds a little extra longer in August from something. You're in hermit mode. Trying to gain some spiritual enlightenment, maybe. Or, or to assess some things or reassess some things and try to figure out like what's up and what's down and what's left and what's right and where the hell are you on the map. Got, trying to get some of that clarity and seeking some kind of truth, right? Because you're struggling with something. That's fine. Oh, well, there it is. That's your answer. Some kind of heartbreak or maybe a divorce or um, some kind of loss. Maybe a little bit of depression, you know. You're taking care of yourself. That's what I feel with the Four of Pentacles there. You're just kind of blocking and you're in hermit mode. Uh, you're recovering from something. 
but you know you have the three of wands so you are all is not lost is what i'm hearing you are keeping yourself like you're still looking forward you still believe that what you what you put out there you you'll get in return you're you're still focusing on expansion in your life and having like um partnership this is like a, a breakup of of a relationship and this is kind of like starting over threes are about communication so you're open to communicating and see what comes back right now in regards to this person whether they're new or whomever they are coming into your life here i still kind of feel like that's mostly your energy towards them as well yeah i don't see you really like i don't really feel like you're putting yourself all the way out there why partly because there's some kind of um three of swords something or other that happened right and so whether that's like you had a bad breakup and you're not you're going slow before you get involved with somebody new you're taking your time you're you're not giving a lot or if it's this person that there was a breakup or something happened okay yeah you're trying to manifest new things in your life new beginnings new emotional beginnings new intellectual new physical new new creative beginnings yeah that's the magician you're focusing trying to turn some kind of visions things dreams or ideas that you have into reality in other areas of your life and also um seeking some inspiration seeking to be inspired yeah, a lot of this has to do with your career and work. You're focusing on that. But let's see how things are going to go. Right around the 17th through the 20th. What you can expect. Because I do feel like you have somebody. You are going to connect with someone. They're going to be like a passerby. You know what I'm saying? Like I can picture them in my mind's eye. You're just walking along a path and someone comes jogging by. I see them. It's like a movie in my head. That's how I get these messages. And I see them jogging past you and then turning around, running backwards and looking at you and waving and smiling. Like there's an instant thing here as far as somebody new. But then the energy of another person that was in your life that was a runner, a sabotager, um, that feels more like an energy. I don't see the image. I see, it's more of a physical impression that I get that this person is going to come in and, and try to seduce you and tell you how they feel about you because they want to have they, they want to move it forward with you all right let's see how things are going to go let's take a sneak peek how things are going to turn out oh wow all right so this person you're dealing with has struggled to become an emperor struggled to become mature definitely a struggle but they had to make a choice and they had to push through to become that so i kind of feel like you know whether this is somebody new or somebody old whichever um i feel like they do the work this is hard work here this is hard labor it's a decision they made i feel like this person realizes it comes to they come to make this decision this choice in their life uh, that they need to do the work and they need to level up in a lot of ways because that's what you need you need someone to match your energy the energy of of like maturity not old age nothing like that but like being wise and that's what the emperor is the the emperor is respected has leadership skills, is a strategic planner, which means he's very thoughtful in what it is that he wants for his future. He has like, um, he embodies like a protector's kind of an energy as someone that you can rely on. Everybody trusts the emperor because the emperor is very commanding and like doesn't tell people what to do, but just being around the emperor, you just want to be better because being the emperor makes you feel like a better person so this person i feel whoever they are to you could be an aries um makes a decision to really put in the work and the effort to come your way now 
for others, I do feel like there is something here with this person where a, a father passes away, or there is this no more dealing with these daddy issues is what I'm hearing. That's the phrase it just gave me. No, I'm not dealing, not, no more dealing with these daddy issues, <laughs> whatever that means. Could be mother, mommy issues as well. All right. Now, this reading is, I want to, I just want to give you a caveat. So for the person that this is a past person, this is an exception to the rule reading. For meeting somebody new, no, I really saw that, okay? Uh, it, if you have this, which I do feel like between the 17th and the 20th, this energy is going to be like occurring simultaneously. It's most likely you're going to connect with someone new, okay? But it, it could be that you know, they both show up or that it's the past person. But I want you to understand, people don't change overnight. It's not an overnight thing. If they're making effort, right? Like, so, for example, right? If you meet someone who's on their couch, they don't get up, they don't walk, they don't exercise, they don't do anything to make their lives better, they just indulge and... They're, they're just getting sicker and sicker. It's really hard to deal with something like that. Like, you know, your heart goes out to people like that, but you don't want to be in a relationship with someone like that because they're not even putting in any effort to try. But if you've got someone who's like that, you know, they, they, they don't take care of themselves mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, but they're working on doing that, that's different. That's different. And that's what I feel like is going on here. This person is, you know, they have some kind of um, surrender life-changing experience so this is what is so mind-blowing okay about a person here who is going through a radical shift and a change that you're going to find out about you're going to be on the receiving end of this to witness to bear witness to this change Now, for those of you who have, like, this is somebody new coming in, this is the story they're going to tell you. They both have the same story. Been through a lot. Needed to make adjustments and changes in their life in order to have that everlasting love and commitment, partnership with someone, companionship, whichever. So either way, you're going to hear from a past person, you're going to hear it from a new person. It's very humbling. Yeah, they're giving me this message that it's very humbling. So this is all going to come, as I keep saying, between August 17th and the 20th. It, it's going to be phenomenal. Like, it's going to be like, oh my God, are you kidding? Like, seriously? All right. There's definitely someone in this connection being gripped by obsessive thoughts. Okay. passion trying something they've never yeah this is not you i feel like you have someone here is extremely passionate and obsessive with you and trying that something new is making these major changes transformation with the death card oh it's your twin flame divine counterpart connection sometimes one twin oh look the sun came out again sometimes one twin is um you know, one twin is always ready. The other one isn't. And it's just about a catching up kind of thing. So in the meantime, of course, if you're that part of that twin, that is, you're not, you don't need, you don't feel like, or you've learned your lessons and every, we all have, we all have learning and growing to do no matter what. But you feel like you've learned some really hardcore truths and lessons, not about yourself, but also about others and your relationships. You may have matured a lot, which I feel like you have. And this other person might not be caught up to you. And so in the meantime, you got, what are you going to, you can like, you can wait, but just keep yourself occupied and doing your life stuff. Or you keep walking forward. There you go. Awakening, undergoing a spiritual transformation. Yeah. So, wow. This is insane. Yep relationship is moving towards the sacred union there's marriage coming in here with this person so you know virgo mm, 
I have a million thoughts running through my head and I always feel the need to keep on talking, but I feel like I need to just be still for a minute. Let me see what this, so this past person, I want to see what some of their hidden truths are. I look for you everywhere. Okay. So like yesterday and over the weekend, there was someone who was spying on you. And I feel like it's this same person who's still like kind of looking you up. Or it's this new person who's like, I've been looking for you everywhere, you know, energetically. It's this, somebody wishes they had treated you better. Okay. Good. They should. I want to be more than friends. Okay. So that goes for both, right? The new and the old. Because there may have been like this friendship that, that evolves or had evolved before. Because a relationship just couldn't get into a more romantic, a term more platonic. But it looks like somebody wants to be more than friends. I'm starting to understand the connection, Mom Virgo. I feel like you're just going to be... Oh, the good news. That's what I was feeling that. I don't even remember now if I said that. But the good news is this effort and change that this person's making. Why they're coming in is out of excitement. Because they want you to see... They want to show you part of that seduction and the flirting is, you know, and the dating. Um, there might have been a third party interference as well that, you know, broke this relationship up with the Three of Swords. Um, but whether it's somebody new or this past person, it's like, wow, look at me. I got the emperor got new shoes. No, is that right? No, the emperor has no clothes. That's not it. Somebody's got a new pair of shoes. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Look at my shoes. Look at my shoes. I got new shoes. I'm walking different these days. I want you to see. I want you to see. I want you to be a part of this. I want to I want to share. I've had these light bulb moments. I, I finally realized, you know, I needed to grow up or I needed to just get more mature. Or just stop running away from my relationships. You know, or I've done that before and you meet somebody new and it's like, oh, look, this is like this is brand new me. You know, I'm excited for my life. Somebody was depressed or moody. I'm excited for my life. I've let go. That's what I'm, I'm, I'm not hearing that from you, although it could be, but it, it, I was talking about whoever this person is. So this is pretty profound. And, you know, some of you Virgos might be like, oh, good for you, an avocado. Enjoy. See you later, alligator. <laughs> Some of you might just be like, I'm doing me. I, I'm not getting back into this. Or you might just be like, I'm not ready to date yet. We'll see. Anybody who's interested is not going to quit. So don't you worry about trying to keep up with somebody. When, they're really, when they really want to be with you and they're really interested in you, they're not going to rush you. And they're not going to quit on you. So if you're like, you know, I just can't right now, or it's just, I don't know, you're going to have to, you're going to have to show me, and it's going to take a while before I'm going to need to see evidence, and you need to back up what you're saying. If they're really there for you, they're going to go out of their way to prove it. If they run away, then you know they were lying. So put them to the test. And put everybody to the test. <laughs> You know, I know, but we just the day and age, people, a lot of lip surface. So somebody new coming in and be like, oh, I was this way with my ex and, and, it, and it ended and now I'm ready. I'm, I'm a changed person. Oh, really? Really? So all this stuff that you're claiming, this, you're, 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 you're walking the talk? Well, I'm going to need to see that. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. What else do you have? Yeah, there was... Definitely, for some of you, some kind of um, either interference in their life or in your relationship with, with them. Okay. Open up your heart. will help you attract more love, commitment. Things will be getting serious. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Between the 17th and the 20th, something's going to get very serious. This person's coming in. Very serious. Wants to be with you. So, coming in to commit. Mm. Coming in to, like, do the right thing. Hold them to the test. Yes. Are they a liar? Well, everybody lies, I guess, to some degree. 
A um, little sneaky, yeah. That's why you got to hold them to the test. But luck is on your side. You're going to prevail. Just know that. Like, winner, winner, chicken dinner. It's, it's a win-win situation here for you. Right? Let go. Make room for the new beginning to you now. On its way to you now. Right? Give things time. Everything in divine timing. Let things flow. Okay. La di da da. La ti freaking da. Let's see what their Chinese sign is, you guys. All right. Oh, year of the rabbit. Year of the tiger. Year of the horse. Year of the snake. Year of the dog. Goat. Dragon. Rooster. Okay. Those are the Chinese signs. Yours, theirs, both of you. All right, let's see. I've got a couple of extra messages here for you. And what else do you have? Four of Cups. Hmm. Failing to recognize a magical opportunity. Missing the point. The distractions of daily life. Discontentment or boredom. Lost in your own world. Wake up. So this feels like this person... A lot of a lot of their change has to do with missed opportunities in the past and part of it if this is a past person part of it has to do with you okay they get very distracted maybe they have ADHD or they became discontented or bored lost in their own world waking up now even for a new person that might have been the situation as well just just a lack of maturity really also the wheel, a fresh new start or the end of delays are upon you, sudden or unexpected progress, a very positive change in your life, travel coming up or a new vehicle. And you also have uh, seeds well planted, efforts or investments that will be rewarded in the future, Virgo. You need patience. You need a time for resting and planning for the future. Don't get into unnecessary worry. Okay, somebody has the initial G in their name, initial C. Okay, also, you have Nine of Swords. Be wary of unfounded fears. If you expect the worst, you create a self-fulfilling prophecy. Allow worry to grow out of portion you, because you're allowing worry to grow out of proportion to a situation. You might be suffering sleepless nights. You need to refocus your thoughts. Work on thought control. <laughs> and here's the two of wands. Taking the next step. Bold and ambitious choices coming up. Partnering with someone who shares your dreams. Expanding your plans. Continuing to move forward. These are lovely messages. Oh, okay. Spirit just said, get a couple of cards from the Rebel deck. All right. You know, these are my tough cards, but these are my tough love cards. Let's see. Just a couple of Rebel, Rebel, Rebel deck messages for Virgo for the month of August, which I think is going to be very profound and mind-blowing. All right, they wanted to give you three. Okay. <laughs> don't talk to anyone. Don't look at anyone. You need some fucking alone time. And you know why, Virgo. Okay. Well, I think we already established that. You also have stop sleeping so damn much. Wake up. You're missing some cool shit. Okay. <laughs> so get your rest, but don't overdo it. Get healthy rest. Eight hours of sleep or whatever you need to feel better. Don't get less than that. But get your rest. What the hell are you waiting for? Get some shit done, Virgo. If you are waiting for a sign, well, here it effing is. Okay, Virgo. Your message here is focus on yourself. Be, a, be on your own, okay? For now. Do what you need to do. You need to get some shit done. So go ahead. Stop procrastinating. Don't spend your time alone procrastinating. Get busy. Get healthy sleep. Don't overdo it. Don't oversleep because you're going to miss some cool shit, right? And so if you're 
you know, I know some of you are on a work schedule, so you get just the sleep that you need for work. But then some of you might kind of take your days off and sleep in really, really late. Look, if you're not feeling well or you're going through a, some grief of some sort, fine. Do what you need to do for yourself. Sometimes rest can be very therapeutic when you're dealing with circumstances that are difficult to deal with. But you can't sleep away your life, right? You want to make sure that you get busy. Get busy with your life. Okay. Let's get some charms. Let's see what else. You've got Leo showing up here. You have Cancer and you have Libra. September 3rd. August 30th. September 16th. September 22nd. August 31st, as per usual. Okay, someone's 45, someone's 53, someone's 35, someone's 62, maybe even 76, or born in 76, 71, 79. Someone's birthday's in January. Okay, they're giving me the word cute. Cute, they just said. Cute. Oh my gosh. They just gave me an old chat app. What the heck was it called? ICQ. Does anybody remember ICQ? This was back in like 98, 97, before AOL came out. There used to be a chat app that you could log into, right? Called ICQ. If you remember, put it in the comments if you remember that. Because I don't know. They're telling me something about ICQ. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Something quick. I'm hearing quick. It could be the quicken or the quick of a dog's toe, a dog's nails or a cat's nail. Something about the quick. If you do you know what I mean, like it's when you when you groom a, a, an animal um, and you you cut their nails. You want to avoid the quick. I think it's called that, so it doesn't bleed. Okay, something to do with that. All right, initial K, initial E, initial Q. We have I, T, and C. Oh, okay, they're also telling me a tick. So that could be like like a blood-sucking tick, like a bug. Be careful of those. Or somebody has a tick, you know, like a little tick, like they wink their eye or they just scrunch up their nose or they say certain words or they have to say certain things or make certain sounds. Somebody might have a have a tick okay interesting yes keep that in mind august 17th through the 20th very very mind-blowing all right that's some charms oh the heck is that oh there's a kitty pink kitty oh seductive pink kitty now also somebody might have one of those little tie pink glittery kitties you know that are made by that company Thai they're like stuffed animals and somebody has like a sundial clock or a clock on their wall like a sun why does everything in my camera look blue I don't know it's so weird like a like a um it's like a clock with sun rays around it that's what I'm feeling somebody has like some kind of a clock with sun rays around it it could be a, a it could be like um, a temperature. What are those things called? Thermometer that you have outside. Oh, they're also telling me, what's the eclipse where the moon passes in front of the sun? Isn't that what we just had? Is that a total lunar, total eclipse? Uh, so something very significant happened for someone here during the eclipse that was life-changing. Yeah, it was profound. Uh, there was a shift. Somebody had a shift, felt a shift in their in energy, like a major shift. Now, the 17th through the 20th is also going to be a full moon period. And I don't know, I think that's the harvest moon. So this is reaping what you sow. It's a very karmic moon, I'm hearing. And also a star. 
just a plain star there's nothing oh there's just a little hold on oh no 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 i'm sorry you guys i had it upside down it's a gold star somebody might be part of a gold star family um or is there's a connection to an olympic gold medal um maybe you know obviously you can probably watch that or you maybe there's a family member or a friend that you're connected to that won a gold medal and there's also just like gold star stickers I'm picking up some gold star stickers somewhere that you might be uh, you could be, there's just stickers or a gold star tattoo or just like a or there's gold star like on a military uniform I'm picking up a gold star gold stars you know like it's that it could be embroidered could be drawn sketched stickers it's just one it's just one it's just one okay so yeah i'm gonna leave that there i was gonna oh sorry it's not very clear i was gonna do more but i think this is good for now so um yeah i'll be back here tomorrow oh my god tomorrow is your it's your weekend reading how boy we're here already how did that even happen when thursday yeah i'll be doing your weekend reading all right so i'm gonna leave that there i hope that you got something out of that don't forget if you want to get a personal reading there's a link in the description box below this video click that link you could do the phone reading or you could do the text reading um, and also check out the other links like i said where you guys can get your timeless readings that i have available like i have virgo with say aries what that reading looks like it's timeless twins all that stuff so go check those out they're eleven dollars and eleven cents um so if you want to support my channel that's one way you can do that you don't have to get them all but that's one way you can do that there's also like a virgo timeless reading that's not specific to a sign so you can and you always have it you download that and you always have that that's yours to keep okay and you can refer back to it it's like getting a personal reading and you can always refer back to it all right you guys so i will see you all back here tomorrow thanks everyone for being in the chat and you know what let me just double check do i have any did anybody um if you became a member of my channel recently and i am um, my computer is so slow does anybody having problems like with their um technology already starting up because i feel like that a lot of that is going on let's see oh yeah white horse cindy kenuel andra iona iowa iona aziza foster thank you guys for becoming members Thank you. Awesome. You guys can become members $2.99. I'm actually going to be adding another perk to my membership. The membership price will go up. Not for those of you who have what you want, who already are paying the $2.99. But I'm going to add another perk. Not sure exactly what it's going to be yet. But um, there will be a, a second tier. So if you want to upgrade your membership to that um, based on what the perk will be. Actually, I'm going to post a community per. Um, community post or and also on facebook to see what kind of perks you guys would like to have what things you would like to have um going forward so yeah keep your eye out for that all right i'm rambling i'll see you guys later bye love you bye